It's a one of a kind traveling memorial that is a symbol and a way to pay tribute to our men and women who have stepped forward and put their lives on the line for us. This unique tribute wall honors the fallen during the Gulf, Iraq and the Afghanistan wars and their families. Their mission is to promote awareness to the general public about the sacrifices made to maintain the freedoms that we all exercise today. Lewis McGinty and Teresa Neff join us now in the KSLA Cafe to invite us to this display this Saturday. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, so this is a really, really unique traveling wall. Tell us more. Well, it's the only one of its kind, and it's uh, the first time it's ever been in Louisiana, so we're really excited about that. And what I think is the most important about it is that each star represents someone that we want to never forget. Yeah, and so you guys have been traveling, or the wall has been traveling for the last 12 years, and you were telling me over 7,000 names are on yes. this wall? Over 7,000 uh, men and women listed on that wall. 331 of those are females. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, I, and as Teresa said, it's been uh, 12 years. It's been refinement in the wall, the individual that uh, actually put it together, and it's, it's, uh, it's a beautiful wall. Now, tell us more about the event itself, because this is traveling. You guys just came, or the wall just came from Alabama, is that correct? Actually came from Georgia, where Georgia. Sam, the gentleman that brings the wall where he lives. Uh, when I talked to him this morning, he was coming through Alabama. He should be in Minden as we speak right now. He'll be spending the night there and coming to where we're going to escort from tomorrow morning. Yeah, and where can we all pay our tributes to on Saturday morning? On Saturday, uh, if, you'll, if you can come over between 10 and a.m. and 10 p.m., which is a long time. We have plenty of time for you guys to come over. Yeah. Uh, it's over at the Three State Harley a motorcycle store uh, right off of Benton Road in Bossier City and um, it's going to be uh, somebody will be there the entire time it'll be there at, at, we stay with it all night long so it'll be there all Friday night mm -hmm. Saturday night and then Sunday we'll take it down uh, and pack it up and send it to the next uh, city. And we have actually a picture right there on the screen that you can see how beautiful it is massive too. Yeah, there's a lot of names on it and it's breathtaking. Why is it important that we as society go to events like this? It's been important all along, as Teresa does every year, heading up Vets for Vets, as we've done many times here in the Arklatex where the Vietnam Wall has come here which I'm proud of, I'm a Vietnam veteran, so I'm glad when it comes here and these Vietnam veterans that are still with us can go out and see people on that wall that they were with when they lost their lives. And now this wall, there is no national monument in Washington, D.C. to the Gulf War veterans. There will be eventually, it'll take another five to six years probably, but for now, this is it, this wall, where these parents, these wives, these siblings can go and look at this, look at that star that represents their loved one that was lost in these wars, and get together. Some of them are going to, I know I've talked to yeah. some of them, they're going to get together and, and reminisce about their loved one that, that's no longer here right. and we, the feelings they have. We want to remember their names. Yeah, I mean, it's important for all of us. Yeah. yeah. And we want to make sure, and the Patriot Guard riders help with, this, with um, any of this, um, you know, uh, funeral services we have here. You know, Lewis does a lot with that. And um, it just we just can't forget them. And they gave their sacrifice. Everybody gives the oath that goes into mm. the military. These boys just never came back and we have that void and we wanna make sure that we lift that family yeah. up. It's important for all of us to be able to come to things like this and, and to remember those individuals who gave their entire life for us to be able to hear, to even have yeah. this interview right now and the freedoms that we all get to enjoy every That's single true. day. You are so correct. Yeah. yeah. I hate to say it, but when in the last hour, I mentioned this wall to a young man who was probably 19 to 23. He had no idea about the Vietnam Wall, this wall, or any other wall sadly. Wow. Yeah, it's important to educate for sure. Yeah. Other generations, future generations, it's important to remember yeah. um, those individuals who yeah. have uh, I am, lost I am their lives. listening audience, come and see this wall and see Absolutely. what it means. Absolutely. Yeah, well, thank you guys both for being here today. I really thank appreciate you, you telling us about this event um, and where we can go to, to pay our respects. We appreciate